Hello and welcome everybody to tutorial number two how to simulate a clutch mechanism. Here is Henny Jugan, mechatronic engineer. So in the previous tutorial we have created the chassis, our base part. So now we're gonna need to create the motor shaft, the first moving part of the mechanism. We go on new part we go on sketch select the face surface and then we're gonna need to create two circles the first one about 50 millimeters of diameter and the second one inside about uh, 10 millimeters so the first circle stands for the uh, discs the second one represents the shaft so we're gonna exit our sketch we go on features extrude and we extrude the discs about three millimeter thickness okay and then we go on the plus icon we select the first sketch and we go on extrude base we are selecting the first sketch to create more extrusion from this sketch so go on selected contour and we select the inner circle okay and then we choose an extrusion about uh, 65 okay and then we need to create an offset so we can visually separate the disc from the shaft offset and then we put like uh, one millimeter okay so now we have our shaft equipped with the friction discs so basically how does a clutch mechanism work the movement is transmitted from the motor shaft to the receiver shaft through friction so basically the discs are be going to be put in friction so uh, there's gonna be a weir effect and our parts are going to be disintegrated little by little so to reduce this friction effect we're gonna need to reduce the surface so first we'll be begin by uh, creating the friction surface we select the first surface go on sketch normal and then we create the circle for a friction surface it needs to be about uh, 44 millimeter of diameter and then we create another circle bigger than the first one it is about uh, 60 millimeters so all the dimensions are taken and chosen because of the first dimensions that I choose for the chassis so we'll go on exit and we're gonna need to extrude this surface thinner so it's gonna be about two millimeters okay the surface is created go on ok so now we have our friction surface friction surfaces are made from material that stands we are and are very resistant so to split the surface in a way to follow the movement direction we're gonna need to create a spline so we select the end surface we go on sketch as usual and then we select spline 
we begin um, from a bowl point here put the first point the second point a little bit down and the third point we need to be about um, here so this plane is gonna help us to guide our uh, surface reduction this need to be a little bit curved like this okay then an exit sketch we're gonna need to have a swept cut guided by, th by this plane for this we're gonna need to create a little sketch uh, we we'll go on the mm, right plane. We select it and go here, reference geometry, and we're gonna need to create a plane that is parallel to the right plane. But in the first reference, the right plane is selected. In the second reference, we're gonna need to select this point here. Okay, so here we have a plane parallel to the right plane, and which begins from the first point of this plane. We select the plane, we we'll go and sketch. We're gonna need to create a sketch on the plane you have created, normal, and then we select a little circle that we're gonna draw from the first point of the spline oh no it's the other point sorry here is gonna be about uh, one millimeter thickness okay we delete the other through dream entities with dream to closest okay then we exit sketch and we're gonna create a swept cut here the profile is already selected it's the little circle and the guide profile is our spline here we have created a script swept cut okay So uh, we need to hide the plane here. Okay. I'm gonna need to repeat this sweep cut through all the circle. So we go on linear pattern, the little arrow here, circular pattern. Okay. It's gonna need an uh, axle, pattern axle. So we only select the cylinder. He is going to take the uh, axle from the cylinder we uh, selected. Okay. And then features to pattern our swept cut. Select only the surface created by the swept cut. Okay. We decrease the number of repetition. Like uh, 10. 10 is okay. Let look okay. So our fraction surface is created. Now we need to uh, create a hole here. Like uh, we imagine that uh, an engine is going to be related here, an engine shaft. We select the surface, sketch. Then we select the circle. about seven and then we need a little uh, cut here a rectangle okay thickness about uh, 0 0.5 
and high from uh, the center point about uh, 5. 5 is too much. Select 4. Okay. So this cut is uh, needed to uh, relate the two shafts the motor shaft and the, uh, the motor disc so we're going uh, to take a mirror entities we need to repeat the symmetrical uh, shape mirror account we choose this line and entities to mirror these two lines okay we uh, train entities that we do not need as shown here then we exit sketch we have a sketch of the hole that we're going to create we use extruded cut a thickness about uh, let's say 12 Okay. So the disk is almost done. We only need to create a surface that uh, will allow us to move this disk from a starting point. Oh, as shown uh, at the beginning, we uh, need to create a swing movement. And so how we're gonna take this uh, plane above plane the above plane we right click and we need to create a sketch okay we are going to create our shouldering surfaces to allow the shaft to be moved vertically so we will create two rectangles near to the tip of the shoulder thickness about two millimeters okay distance it from nine millimeters and distance from the tip is about five and the radius is about 7 from the sorry from the uh, axle is about 7 ok and then we exit we choose uh, our uh, revolution revolve base we choose the axle of the sketch and automatically is gone uh, to 360 degrees we click ok here our shouldering surfaces we uh, save our part choose empty air shaft for motor ok 